If you look at the coronation footage, as the king and queen are leave the thrones and head for the exit of Westminster Abbey on the coronation Saturday, you'll see that everyone bows and curtsies to the king, and no one moves a limb, a muscle, when Camilla passes. Mm. And that was because they were angry with Camilla. Camilla brought 20 Parker Bowleses to the coronation. There were four Middletons. All the people that helped uh, Camilla get the crown on her head were excluded from that coronation, and they were furious. And not only that, Kate and William were angry too. And that anger, of course, Harry was angry, that anger went right through that small part of the congregation by the throne, by the whole, the center of Westminster Abbey. And in that moment, it was absolutely noticeable to those people who'd been excluded from the coronation, that nobody, let alone Kate, curtsied to Queen Camilla. Good evening, Your Majesties. Good evening, Windsor. Thank you to everyone for making this such a special evening. I want to say a few words about my father and why I believe this weekend is so important. But don't worry, unlike Lionel, I won't go on all night long. As my grandmother said when she was crowned, coronations are a declaration of our hopes for the future. And I know she's up there fondly keeping an eye on us, and she'll be a very proud mother. For all that celebrations are magnificent, at the heart of the pageantry is a simple message, service. My father's first words on entering Westminster Abbey yesterday were a pledge of service. It was a pledge to continue to serve, 
because for over 50 years, in every corner of the UK, across the Commonwealth and around the world, he has dedicated himself to serve others, both current and future generations, and those whose memory must not be neglected. Take the natural world. He warned us of the risks to our planet's health long before it was an everyday issue. Or the Prince's Trust. It has supported... <laughs> The Prince's Trust has supported over a million young people, many from disadvantaged backgrounds, to realise their ambitions. And perhaps most importantly of all, my father has always understood that people of all faiths, all backgrounds and all communities deserve to be celebrated and supported. Pa, we are all so proud of you. And I also want to express my pride and gratitude for the millions of people who serve in the forces, in classrooms, hospital wards, and local communities. I wish I could mention you all. Your service inspires us. And tonight, we celebrate you too. I commit myself to serve you all King, country, and Commonwealth. God save the King.